So they will complain a uh, mild headache, light headache, which is like a person might be normal all through. They not been diagnosed with hypertension, but they will say, uh, "I have a headache today." But the headache is bad. It's kind of bad. What are the typical signs and symptoms that the patient would present, or maybe mm. the family members would pick up? Most of the time, they always being associated with headache, yes. yeah, and sometimes blurring of vision. So, um, and how does it differ between these the etiologies that the, which symptoms comes first? All right. Basically, brain the first warning sign. Example in the spontaneous mm. bleed. Because trauma usually they already come to us in the emergency department, so we usually don't need the specific sign for them. But in a hypertension bleed or hypertensive bleed or stroke or aneurysm rupture, the number one causative symptoms is uh, sign and symptom is headache. Mm-hmm. So they will complain a uh, mild headache, light headache, which is like a person might be normal all through. They not been diagnosed with hypertension, but they will say, uh, "I have a headache today." But the headache is bad. It's kind of bad. And subsequently, they will start to have uh, other symptoms like vomiting. This is sign of a uh, raised intracranial pressure. And subsequently, brain is a very uh, specific and beautiful structure. That means you, if you have a bleed in a certain area, you have a certain symptoms. Mm-hmm. Like most commonly in a stroke, that uh, in a hypertensive bleed, usually in a basal ganglia, which is 60% of uh, sorry, 58% is in a basal ganglia. They will come with a weakness. Okay. That means unilateral weakness. They have a weakness of the right arm, left arm, and also a right leg, left leg. It depends how big the clot and how severe the bleeding is.